Hello, Greg Pound for Sheriff. It's another documentary. Today is May um, 1st. And I want to bring to your attention a situation here that happened to me today at the courthouse that I can see is going to cause, um, before it all unfolds, I want to document it and just have a head start on what's going on here. Let me explain to you. I stand out from the courthouse with my, um, with my sign, Greg Pound for Sheriff 2012, and, and just um, encouraging people to look at the corruption that's going on in Pinellas County. And um, this morning, a man came out of the courthouse. There was actually, he was with four. Um, it was uh, a man in probably about 30, 35. And he had his, a friend, and there was two, two women with him. And the guys, as he's leaving, he, got, he gets real belligerent. I'm in a, what we call a free speech zone, which is a violation of our First Amendment right. I think it's kind of insane that we're paying the guys to, at the courthouse to defend our Constitution and our Bill of Rights. And here, China implements a free speech zone in America. And if you come out of that free speech zone, you go to jail. And so this is the whole um, problem that we have is the thing of what people are doing for money. And so as I'm standing out in front of the courthouse in my free speech zone, this guy gets real belligerent, starts telling me to shut up, and he's, he's way over on the other side of the corridor in the courthouse. And I try my best to pay no attention to him. And, um, and then he starts walking at me like he's angry. He's, he's got this angry demeanor on him as he's coming at me. And I don't know if he feels he's going to intimidate me or what the situation is. So basically, he comes over there, gets in my face, starts screaming and yelling, trying to back me up, and um, so and he's persistent at this. Now, this has happened to me several times. The other times, it's been attorneys. Now, what this is is the sheriff's department at the courthouse. As this election goes on, in the last several debates we've had at these forums, at these candidates' forums for sheriff, as I expose their corruption and show that it's illegal. For the three major components that I opponents that I have at the sheriff's from the sheriff's department, all are all attorneys. Sheriff Rice is term limited; he's running again for sheriff. All it is is a big cover up. Of, um, it's a cover up in order to keep their, the evil and the corruption of this. We have a massive problem with child molestation with pedophiles in the system, and this is a part of their orientation or the part of getting to the top where they they they. They, um, once they get involved in this, if, if one opens their mouth, all of them go down. That's why City Councilman John Bryant, in his suicide letter, he said he had to do this. Not, he wasn't talking about for the children that he molested. He was talking about the other people in this upper echelon that's running Pinellas County um, to cover up their, their, um, initi their initiation into their um, scam on... on um, corruption here in this county. And so what happens is it's um, when you have like city councilman, um, John Bryant, Al Zimmerman over DCF comes out of Pinellas County. I mean this thing is in the abuse, I mean the Largo Police Department. You've got Fred Taylor, attorney at the um, courthouse. His record was expunged within minutes, within a few, something like three days of him exposing himself, trying to pick up little boys in the bathroom over at the Largo Park, and here is his attorney at the courthouse. Then you have um, um, uh, Judge Downey, and, and these guys are coming out, it's, they, it's, they're, they're slowly being exposed. I mean, I, I believe there's, it, you know, you're not gonna be able to hide the evil that they're doing, and they're doing the best they can to do that. And so I've been brought into this situation to clean up this county and to go ahead and get us back to some kind of a sanity where we're building our families instead of destroying them and having a bunch of pedophiles in the county stealing people's children and using them for sex. So what it is, is at our last forum at the Dunedin um, um, Golf Club, a beautiful place, I, I've never been there before, I've, I've been by it, but I, I went on the, um, onto the golf property there and it was just, just beautiful, it was just, I, I don't know why I've never been back there before. And um, as I shared with the audience, that it's illegal. I was, I was the only one there with the three other candidates from the sheriff's department, um, um, Guateri, uh, Rice, and I can't remember the other younger man's name who has a law firm here in Pinellas County. And I read this to him, 
And now the reason I'm putting this together is you need to understand they're setting me up. They're trying to find something to either incarcerate me and they're going to create something out of nothing. They're professionals at this. It's called, it's a form of entrapment, getting them entrapped in the system, creating something out of nothing. Even though this guy came at me, I had to walk to the window, bang on the window, get the bailiff out there. And then what happens is then they come up and then another lady comes up and says that I swung a sign, my sign at the guy, which is a lie. I'm not aggressive in that form whatsoever. I mean, if the guy wants to punch me, he doesn't punch me. But I'm not going to go ahead. They're not going to get me. Um, I, I, I know the stuff that they do and, and so forth. And so what happens is that this is, they, they have people that's in the system, we call them confidential um, informers, um, I, I mean sting rings, all kinds of um, sexual enticement rings, everything that you can imagine in order to get people trapped into the system. Um, and I'll share with you a fun incident of a person that they know who's getting all the drugs and they know who basically, um, how to get them entrapped. I mean, they know when you're going to pick your script up at the drugstore. I know people that have went to pick their script up for Roxy's and, and, um, and what happened is the, um, they, they set the situation up that when they went to pick up their script, these other people went to pick up their script, and they had a, they had a system set up where they, where they would entice people to sell some of their medication. Now, half these people are out of work, they're either on pain meds because there's something wrong with them, and, they don't, and, and they're having financial problems and a whole situation. And once they get them into the system, it's just like, um, you know, it's like their doomsday. And it's just, it's just a real sad situation to see what drugs are. I mean, you've got, the, you've got the doctors in the courts getting rich by putting people on pharmaceutical drugs. And that's the scam that's being run in Pinellas County. And then there's sexual abuse and all um, from the people in the system. Um, just, just, just think, they, we have a system that's out of control. And, it's, it's, and it's, it becomes down to some real simple facts, and it has to do with the ignorance of us as a people. We have been dumbed down, and we don't even understand our Constitution and our Bill of Rights. When the man comes up, and, he, and he, he comes over and tells me to shut up, and I'm in a free speech zone. Now, I'm, I shouldn't even be in a free speech zone. Um, I mean, that's a violation of our First Amendment rights, and we're paying everyone in the courthouse, and the bailiffs, the sheriff's department comes by there, the police officers. It seemed like they would have some kind of sense within themselves to say, what are we doing um, with this guy in a free speech zone from our courthouse? Where is this coming from? And, um, and so they're going to do whatever they can. They're going to create something out of nothing. So you just watch what happens. I'm making this because I know how they operate, and I know what they're going to try to do. And um, to have this lady sitting over there, and she's going to, she's testifying. She, I mean, she's saying I did this and that. And then you have um, this guy and the woman that he's with, the other couple that he was with, stood out there and watched what was going on, and then they finally walked away. I mean, uh, this guy is probably at least a good 50, maybe 60 yards away from me. He walks over to me. Um, you know, and I, and, you know, and so what it is, is I know when that kind of stuff happens, it's a, it's a, it's a setup. And um, so I, I just know that I have to keep myself under control, no matter what happens in the result of um, whether they spit in my face, which happened two other times by the attorneys. And um, the attorneys know the law. They know exactly. And, and this, this situation is a little bit different. Um, but let me read this to you. It says, lawyers who are members of the Florida Bar are barred legally from running for public office in the executive and legislative branches. The Constitution prohibits them from running for mayor, commissioner, school board, sheriff, legislative, or any other elective office that is not part of the judicial branch of government. Now, just that one statement, as it goes into the, um, as it goes in and, and it goes to Article 2, Section 3 of the Florida Constitution, and it explains why we have this as part of our government, so we don't have this tyranny, the same hand group of people running our system, which makes it real easy for them to manipulate because they all have a common goal, and that's to work together to, um, um, to control things. And that's why we have this check and balance to, um, to um, keep, uh, keep one another accountable. And so what I just want you to do, I just want to make you aware of the fact that these guys, I mean, there's, there's no way Sheriff Rice, Guattari, or this other candidate for sheriff, 
these are and, and these are the only guys that I'm I'm debating with have any any right to even be running for sheriff. And what they're playing on is the ignorance of pe the people of Pinellas County. The dumbing down of the people of Pinellas County. When I see all these businesses, when I see the signs from Sheriff Rice, Guateri, all over the place, it shows me how ignorant the American, the American people have become. And this is why we have the problems, is you don't even understand your own constitution, your own Bill of Rights, which is a destruction to us as a people and a nation. Because they understood the problem with big government. They wanted to limit the government. Because as the government gets bigger and bigger, your taxes go up. Their power grab becomes greater and greater. And, and that's, why, that's why the framers, um, you know, they wanted to have a, a, a government that was limited. And it was under the control of the people. And so I'm just going to go ahead and I'll post this so, so we can just see what's going to happen. And um, it's... Um, so I'm just going to beat them to their punch is what, basically what it is because they're going to create something out of nothing. They don't want me out in front of the courthouse. I mean, they've done everything that you possibly can do to get me out of there. And I'm, I'm redressing the, the system because we want justice. We want a system that's equal application and justice for all. And when you can't even get a right for, to a jury trial over your own children, which is guaranteed in the Florida Constitution, but, but you can get one over a cat or a dog, but you can't get one over your own children while they're kidnapping children and using them for sex in this county. And the people in Pinellas County are so, so busy trying to, trying to make ends meet or trying to get more that they don't have the faintest idea of what's going on in their own country now. And, these, and your politicians love it. They're, they just love the system we're in now. It's so fast now and so out of control that somehow we're going to have to re-educate our people, re-educate our young people, and that's what my goal would be to do, is to bring in a new breed of young people into the, into the Sheriff's Department who understand the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and who will take their stand for what's right and not violate the rights of the people they're serving. So if you have any questions, or um, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put this documentation up here. I'm going to put it in the body of this, um, this email. There's a, I'll put it in there where you can go ahead and read it. And... Um, so it's Greg Pound for Sheriff, and I need you to send this. There needs to be a grassroots movement. This needs to go up on your Facebooks. This needs to go out through your emails. And you need to get, we need to get involved as a, as a, as a people, as a community. The word community means come unity, community. We come together. We come together as a community. Um, the unity. We come together in unity. That's where we get the word community from. And it's going to have to be us as the people unifying ourselves in order to deal with this tyranny that we have going on in this, um, in our present, um, in our local government here in Pinellas County. And um, so that's what I'm appealing to. So, all right, if you have any questions, email me at savingfamilies7gmail.com. Listen, I'm not going to be able to do it myself. I need the people involved. And so thank you very much.